Welcome to Photo Vibrance. My name is Arthur Wayno and I will be your guide today on this tutorial. Today we're going to be focusing on pets or animals, so let's jump right into the software. Great! Now that you have the software open, I'm going to assume that you already know the basics, and if you don't, that's okay. You can go right over here to the Tutorials tab and catch up on the videos on how to use the basics of the software. So let's go ahead and start searching for this cat image that you saw at the beginning of this video. I believe this one was in Pexels, so we're going to click the Pexels tab, and we're going to just type in cats. And look, it's right there, the second one. Perfect. Now most of the uh, images that you're gonna look for for animals or pets, um, they're already gonna be taken by uh, professional photographers and ideally you want ones that aren't too far away or too close. I'm gonna go ahead and select square because that's the most universal across all the platforms and we're just gonna go ahead and readjust our square here. Gonna click next. And let's go ahead and start anim animating. So what we want to do first is we want to go ahead and, and anchor all of our spots that we don't want to move. So for instance, the nose, the eyes, the mouth, and the ears around the head and the body. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And if it's not perfect, that's okay, because you can always go back and add anchors or delete the anchors. Great. So now, looking at this photo, we can tell a couple of things. One, it's a little bit blurry on his chin, so we're going to go ahead and, and also around here, around his lip. So we're going to go ahead and outline that, because what we want is we want this fur to move uh, but without blending into the rest of it, so it really shows the outline of his face. And we're going to do a jawline right here too. So we're kind of just drawing with the anchors on the parts that we don't want to move because his fur on his face is going to be moving in a separate direction than the fur on his chest. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and start animating the cat. We're going to go ahead and select the path. And what you want to do when you're doing uh, animals, and this, this will go for any animals, whether it's snakes, birds, uh, cats, dogs, um, you obviously are not going to draw a path sideways like that. Uh, you just want to kind of go along with the natural path of the fur, the scales, the feathers, whatever it may be. Just draw it like that. And again, it doesn't need to be perfect because any imperfections we can always go in and tweak once we see what the animation looks like. For his ears here, you can see that he has hair, um, but it's a little blurry. So we're just gonna go ahead. I already know that the animation is gonna kind of blend all this in, but it's still something to take a look at. We'll see what that looks like once we're done. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and see what it looks like. It actually looks pretty good already. We could probably put a little bit of animation right here on his chin, but you could see that when we anchored out his lips, you could see it moving right there. Uh, it really, um, makes his mouth pop, it makes his nose pop because we anchored that out as well. Uh, since his eyes, uh, we probably need to go in and fix this. It looks like it's spilling over into his eye. We can probably animate his eye a little bit as well. Um, now, from what I remember, uh, since the cat's eyes are um, kind of like these slivers, it's uh, gonna be a little tricky to animate, but uh, let's see what we can do. 
Let's go ahead and move that over like that. And the spillover is gone. There's a couple little lines right here. We're going to go ahead and fix that. It's probably this arrow that is causing that. There we go. See the line is gone now. Perfect. We can probably animate the fur right out here. And I forgot to do his chin. It's looking pretty good. Great. Now let's go ahead and work on the eye. Uh, like I said, this was a little bit tricky just because the cat's eye is a sliver. It's not round like a, a human, so we can't really go in there and do a, a, a circle with the arrows. Um, so all I did when I originally did this was I placed anchors right in the center of the slivers. And I went and grabbed a single arrow I put it right down the side. Now let's take a look and see what it looks like. See, we're giving it a little bit of movement in there. Let's go ahead and adjust the arrows and see what it looks like when we move it closer to the bottom. I think it looks pretty good like this. So all we're doing now is some just minor tweaks to um, make this the best that we possibly can. See how I got rid of that line a little bit? Let's see. That looks pretty good. Now the only other thing to do is to increase the animation, the animation speed. So it looks like that. All right, perfect. So all we need to do now is go ahead and put this into Create Studio, put the slow zoom on it with the, uh, and I went out there and found um, uh, a sound effects of a cat purring, um, and then uh, just an ambient sound that I placed behind this video, and it was complete. And look at that, the cat video is complete. Well friends, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you on the next one.